I'm your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. I'm always amazed at how people's faith can turn to foolishness. How your faith can make you foolish. Number one, when you stop, when you stop reasoning for yourself and you always believe whatever your spiritual leader says, when you dare not scrutinize whatever he is saying or whatever he is doing. Imagine somebody telling you to go and eat grass. Imagine somebody sleeping on top of women in the church. Imagine a man standing on top of his fellow human being to preach. Don't you think when you have stopped scrutinizing and analyzing some actions vis-a-vis -vis the scriptures, your faith has turned to foolishness. When a man secludes you, restricts you, confines you to only what he is preaching to you, your faith has turned to foolishness. That was how people like Jim Jones led people to death in Guyana. So, if people separate you, any denomination, any religion, any group that secludes you from your family members, from friends, from classmates, from contemporaries, you have become a slave. Any religion that makes you dress in a particular way, in a particular attire, in a particular style, your faith has turned to foolishness. We are not school children as adults. Any faith that does not have your interest as a person in mind and only the ministry or religion is supreme, then your faith has turned to foolishness. When you are threatened that when you leave, or you disobey or disagree with the leadership and bad things will happen to you or they share testimonies of bad things that happen to people that dare stand against them know that your faith has turned to foolishness why do i say that even those that crucified jesus on the cross got home safely they didn't die on the way thunder did not strike them <laughs> when when you keep repeating the slogans of a group, of a religious body, you keep repeating the slogans, they give you slogans to repeat, your mind is being colonized. And when you stay for a long time, you are not seeing any spiritual development, you are not seeing any spiritual growth, you are not able to improve on your person, and sometimes you will find that you are deteriorating know that you have been confined into a spiritual prison and then look at those ahead of you not necessarily those on the head table or those in the altar look at those ahead of you who joined before you how has their lives been and then when the emphasis is always on the testimonies of what the man of god did the prophet did the imam did whatever did, always, always, and Jesus is not glorified, know that your mind has been colonized. When they don't ask you, how are you doing? How is your business? How are you progressing? What are your academics? They are not putting you in the direction for your progress. Know that your faith has turned to foolishness. When you start defending the stupidity of the leadership of the group you belong to, know that your faith has turned to foolishness. And when you have this constant battle in your mind, in your heart, you, you, are, you are not comfortable, know that your faith is turning to foolishness. We will continue this discussion. I remain Dr. Charles Apoki. Send a message to me on plus two three four seven zero five two 
136763 for counseling. God bless you.